this video is a little bit different to what I normally do. Um, it's it's not a review by any any means, and um, I have a good reason for that. Um, I want to talk about a book called Dracula's Guest, written by Amaya Tenchi, um, and I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, now, the reason I want to talk about this book is because, um, as some of you guys know, I'm a writer. I have my uh, own uh, writing projects. Uh, you can see some of them on this YouTube channel. Um, I have a comic book, two comic books now, um, that'll be up on Arcave and eventually. Um, and one of those, um, Crane City's Gargoyle, is being drawn by Amaya Tenshi. So it's a bit awkward um, talking about a book when you have a working relationship with a person. I don't want to you know, like falsify or feel like people, like I'm tricking people or being biased with this one. But I do want to get the word out there and promote this thing because um, Amaya is a incredible person and she's helping me out a lot with uh, my comic book. Um, so, you know, it's the least I could do. So what I, what I thought I would do, um, and, you know, I hope you guys don't think this is like a breach or anything like that, um, but what I thought I would do is talk about what other people think about this book that aren't me. Is that fair? So these aren't my opinions. These are the opinions of other people who have read this book. Um, so first off, what is Dracula's Guest? And Dracula's Guest is a sort of lighthearted, supernatural vampire novel. Um, it's... I guess that's the best way to describe it. Um, it's about a woman called Cammie, who's a Seattle hipster. She works as a barista and is a college student. And one night she's attacked by a pack of vampires and result and sort of, you know, resolves to learn more about what's going on uh, with her city and these vampires. Um, in doing so, she r runs and comes across, crosses paths with Dracula himself, like the historical Dracula character. Um, and, um, you know, ends up sort of being a tag along for him as far as I'm aware. Like I said, I'm trying to keep this a bit, a bit detached from my personal opinions. Um, now this book is available pretty much everywhere. You can get it on Barnes and Noble. You can get it on Amazon Kindle. You can, you can get it anywhere. It's traditionally published. Um, it's available in, in, in many locations and I'll have a few links down below. Um, but let's talk about what other people have to say. So on Barnes and Noble, the book has five stars. And we have a review from someone. I don't know who they are. Their username is catlover4. And it says, I enjoyed this fresh and enjoyable version of Dracula. There's humor, mystery, discovery, drama, tension, adventure, and even history. It exceeded my expectations. And I can't wait to read more from this creative author. In the tags, it says the book lived up to the hype. It was a laugh out loud, a quick read, but she couldn't put it down, and it was a beach read, and that person recommended the product. Okay? That's good. That's the only review on Barnes & Noble, but it's, it's a good start. So five stars on Barnes & Noble. Moving over to Amazon, we also have five-star reviews um, with eight different reviews. Now, I'll highlight some of these. So um, we have a review from someone called Christina. And it says there's more than one type of vampire, but there's only one Vlad Dracula. Cammy, a young college student and part-time barista, finds this out when she has a run-in with a horde of bloodthirsty Hollywood-style vampires. After being evicted from the apartment she shared with her best but not entirely reliable friend, Heather, having found out the hard way that supernatural monsters actually do exist, Cammy is determined to find out more, especially about the weird guy who came to her rescue and then vanished. But other characters are also determined in conflicting ways. Cammy's mother is determined to regain domineering control over her daughter's life. Cammy's childhood friend, a rookie cop, Brian, is determined to find out just what this intrusive guy with the implausible name and really, really expensive car is up to. But he's sure it's nothing good. Handsome werewolf Malcolm would prefer to relax and drink beer, but he has to fight monsters. He's determined to be the last one standing. And the government agent Boyce 
is determined to keep a lid on all strange occurrences so that other people never have any reason to suspect a supernatural creatures really exist. Meanwhile, someone or something is determined to spread havoc through the city by generating vampires at an unprecedented rate. And as Dracula, Cammy, Malcolm can put a stop to this, it's going to get ugly. And they've given it a five-star review and have a verified purchase. And next review by Alice is also five stars. It says Dracula's guest is a fast-paced urban fantasy adventure you won't be able to put it down at least i couldn't but it's more than that it's it is funny and literate with believable characters how often can you say that about vampires and other monsters vlad is not portrayed as handsome or even charming contrary to the romanticized dracula character his strengths and weaknesses along with his guests are fully revealed there is no false perfection here i love that they stood up for and protected each other when they didn't have to they formed a friendship or at least an alliance despite their cultural misunderstandings and annoyances if you like fast-paced thought-provoking read with a dash of humor and some history thrown in i would highly recommend this book five stars uh someone called marquise little says dracula's guest is fun fast-paced urban fantasy action mystery that doesn't take itself too seriously packed with tons of inspiration from history myth legend and folklore Vlad is a great character and will also enjoy reading his flat, matter-of-fact dialogue in a thick Romanian accent, even when the narrator says he isn't speaking and won't do it anyway for maximum enjoyment. If you want to see a somewhat oblivious early 20-something lady learn a little bit about reality, then Cammy will be right up your alley as well. As for the plot, it's simple enough not to get in the way of the humorous banter of vampire action. Can't wait for the next one. Uh, Mike calls it a comical, light-hearted, and modern angle Dracula. This book is exactly what the cover suggests. Don't expect an in-depth, emo emotionally moving piece of literature here. This book is purely for fun, and it ultimately knows what it is. It's a comical supposal on how the history, historic Dracula would perceive modern society and how it would perceive him. It seems to be targeted for younger audience. Considering this book costs less than a large coffee at Starbucks, you really can't go wrong here. And there's a bunch of other five-star reviews on here as well, all sort of mimicking the same sort of thing. It's fun, it's lighthearted, it's well-written, um, it's got a great historical take on Dracula. And as I said, it has a five-star review on Amazon as well. And if you look at Goodreads, it's sitting at 4.67 with people saying a pretty similar thing. Um, we have Brighton Hug saying to say this book was thoroughly enjoyable would be an understatement. Uh, Taylor Ridley says this is a great book. A young woman who's in way over he her head. Fantasy creatures from cultures all over the world. Nosy cop buddies and tyrannical government agents all mashed up into a vampire hunting plot. What more could you really ask for in a modern Dracula novel? So, I mean, there we have it. Um, Amaya is, I uh, would consider, a good friend of mine and a creative partner of mine. She is drawing the art for my comic book. However, she's created a book here that people seem to really enjoy. And I want to support that and help get the word out. So um, if you think this is something you might be interested in, give a click down below, have a look into it. It's on Kindle for like five bucks. And you know, I, I hope you get some enjoyment out of this. Anyway, like I said, that was me for tonight and um you guys have a have a good night